everyone imagine speaking for 2 minutes and you get only 1 minute to prepare seems challenging right what if i tell you it's not that difficult in today's class i'm going to teach you top q card strategies for your speaking part 2 in today's lesson first i'm going to teach you how to give an effective introduction of your topic next we will see how mind map works for idea generation then we will see how to use the lexical resources and demonstrate grammatical range in your answers finally we will understand how a sample band line answer looks like so make sure that you watch till the end of this video if you want to master the speaking section if you find our videos useful don't forget to like and share our videos and hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when we come up with new lessons This is your IELTS expert Sakshi. Now let's dive in. So this is what happens in your speaking part two. You get a topic card. Apart from that, you will always get a pen and a paper to make notes because you will be given one minute to prepare for a one or two minute speech. Ideally, you should try to speak for two minutes. So let's see how the topic card looks like. So each cue card has the main topic written at the top. let's say describe a small business that you would like to open and then you can see there are a series of bullet points now these bullet points are guide posts they will help you to add more ideas to the topic that you want but do remember that these are not the only points that you can talk about you can always go beyond these points essentially it's more about the story that you're narrating for the 2 minutes that you have so today we are going to deal with this cue card that is describe an interesting city you know and like so first let's understand what are the different strategies that we have to keep in mind to deliver a good answer many students often wonder how to begin the speech well i have a very important technique for you to give an effective opening line So these are some of the adaptable phrases that you can ideally use for any cue card. You just need to reframe it as per the topic. Further, to show your lexical resources range, you can always paraphrase the topic that is given in your question prompt instead of repeating the same words. So to illustrate, let's say your topic is describe a beautiful place to visit in your country. Now instead of repeating the same thing, let's say I'm going to describe a beautiful place to visit in China. you could instead say i'm going to talk about a stunning destination which people can travel to in the north east of china now this is more effective so this is what you can do in the introduction now next task is to generate ideas for the topic now what to do in that golden one minute let's find out it is very important to create a mind map what is this So I told you that the bullet points are just some of the guiding points that will help you to frame your answer. You can always pick more questions to elongate your answers. So let's say you want to describe the city. So instead of just talking about where it is or you know how do you go there, what you did, maybe you might share your experience. You can talk more things. Let's say. who did you go with right you can definitely share your life experience what all activities you did how did you enjoy right why did you choose this place or why is this famous where is it what are the different attractions of the city what did you like about the city and when did you go so essentially you can create a story on the go now apart from making your notes for these given questions you should also try to think of good vocabulary So good use of collocations, idioms, and some uncommon words will definitely help you to fetch a band seven and more. So let's say we want to describe places, that is city. So these are some of the useful adjectives to describe the same. So this is something that you should definitely do. So you can just scribble down some of the vocabulary words that can really give you an edge in speaking. And when the time comes for speaking, you can easily refer those notes and. you will not forget using them as you speak other than these words idioms will definitely add more color to your answer so these are the three idioms that i have picked for today you can definitely add them to your vocabulary so ready to go means you're full of energy enthusiasm to you know start doing something or have a whale of a time because you have fun a lot of fun 
It's been an exciting time for you. So you have a whale of a time. And something that is really, really impressive blows your mind. Right? So let's see how we can incorporate all these vocabulary words in the answer. Now, before that, let's learn one more strategy, which is really very useful if you want to demonstrate your knowledge of wider range of grammatical structures. This particular strategy will really help you to fetch a good score in grammatical range and accuracy criteria. All you need to do is incorporate different tenses in your answer, which will really help you to produce a well-rounded answer. So you have past tense, present tense, and future tense. So many of the events that you will narrate will start in the past, and you can bring it to the present, how it impacts you in the present, or what you feel about that event or person today, and link it to the future. So now that we know how to do our introduction, how to make our mind map, also inclusion of vocabulary is important, you can further incorporate the PPF strategy. So let's see how our answer would ideally look like for the cue card we have chosen for today. So your answer could look like this. I have visited several cities before and each city has its own speciality, but there's one city that seems most vibrant to me and that is Mumbai. It is a coastal city situated on the western coast of India. I was raring to go there all my life and I got a chance to visit there in 2018 with my family to meet our relatives. Uh, one of the most memorable places I got to see was Marine Drive. It's a promenade overlooking the Arabian Sea and it holds a special place in the hearts of every visitor. It was relaxing to feel the cold breeze and see the gorgeous sunset. Uh, moreover, Mumbai is also famous for its festivals, uh, street food and nightlife. In fact, it is home to Bollywood, which is the most popular film industry in India and fashion industry as well. My brother and I watched this wonderful play in Prithvi Theatre and that totally blew my mind. Uh, apart from that, Mumbai is known for its art galleries, museums and beaches. There are so many shopping streets, you know, where you can get excellent bargains. I went to Linking Road once with my cousins and we bought a variety of stuffs. Believe me, that was a steal. Um, but Mumbai is notorious for its bad roads and traffic jams. Well, that is something I absolutely hate about the city. Anyway, I had lovely holidays in Mumbai and we had a whale of a time. I think I enjoyed so much that I did not even notice how quickly the 10 days had passed. I still recall those memories and see all the pictures that we had clicked. If I get a chance, I would love to visit the city again and explore the places I missed out in my last trip. So that's how you can give an effective answer to a cue card. So you can notice how I have given an effective introduction. That is one of the phrases that we had learned before and given good details about the city, my experience. Plus, at the end, you can see how I have also brought it to the present, like how I still recall the memories Right. And in future, I would love to visit the city again. So that's how we have demonstrated a wider range of grammatical structures. So this is how you can frame the answer for your cue cards. If you want to know the right strategy to solve the different question types in your IELTS reading section, or are you confused on how to write good essays? Well, to solve all your doubts and queries and to make your job easy, we are going to launch our free IELTS crash course starting from the 11th of October. So in this crash course, our expert certified trainer, Yesha Manik, is going to give you the right tips, tricks, and strategies to solve different question types in reading. And also you will learn how to structure your essay, how to generate ideas for different kinds of essays. So make sure that you enroll for this course and you can find the link for the same in a description box. This crash course starts from 11th of October, from Monday to Saturday, and you have to tune in at 8 p.m. so that you can benefit from the expertise that is going to be shared with you. So what are you waiting for? Join a crash course. And if you're aiming for a band seven and above, then you must make use of this opportunity and boost your score. Not so difficult, right? Well, it will take more practice for you to master the speaking section. So make sure that you try and apply these strategies if you want to speak like a pro. For more useful lessons, make sure that you like and share our videos. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when we come up with new lessons. This is your IELTS expert Sakshi signing off. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.